Hey class, Professor Banker here. Uh, I'm going to talk about um, some of your posts related to Aquinas and Augustine uh, and those uh, readings. Uh, I've already given a lecture on this, so I don't want to rehash that, but I just want to give a few sort of general comments and feel free to respond, to disagree, to push back. Um, part of Augustine's just war theory is that uh, a just war is one commanded by a proper authority namely God, uh, or a divinely instituted ruler, like the king, um, and that's really what he's working with, the governmental framework he's working with. And so, uh, as long as one of those two commands it, and there's right intention, then the war is just. Right intention meaning not for selfish gain, uh, self-defense, protection, defeating evil, things like that. Um, I asked a question about this notion of God commanding violence and how we feel about that. Um, and I'm just going to give you my biggest problem with this. Uh, who decides it's God that's doing the commanding? Right? So Israel says God commands us to kill the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites. They go in total genocide. They kill children, women, animals, everything. Right? Um, and we say, oh, well, that's okay, because God commanded it. But then, um, why are we upset, say, when pilgrims come to the United States saying, God has given us this land. This is the new promised land. They cite the Old Testament passages. We've got to kill these Native Americans. We've got to kill these savages. God's given us the land. We need to purify it from their religion. Um, and they use the same motives, and we think, yeah, that probably wasn't right of them to do that. Most of us think that was not a good thing. Well, why? It's the same justification. God told them to. God told, uh, the during the Inquisition, God told the Catholics to kill the Protestants, preserve the faith, torture them, get them to convert, right? Vice versa, Protestants killing Catholics. Well, God's telling us to do it. We're preserving the faith. Um, God, during the Crusades, God told us to kill Muslims. This is God's will. We kill them. And in all these cases, we feel uncomfortable saying, oh yeah, that was God. Because how do we know that that was God? How do, who decides that God's commanding it? And that it's not just a group of people who want land. A group of people who don't like Muslims. A group of people who don't like Protestants. How do we know this is really God? And that's my biggest problem here. I don't know how to know. I don't know how to be certain that God's commanding it. And by the way, it's the exact same motivation that certain Muslim groups use when they commit terrorist acts or when they, um, when they oppress certain groups. It's God's will. They believe it so firmly that God's commanded that they will die. They will, they'll martyr themselves because they believe it, right? And we say that's wrong. How do we know? Maybe God commanded it. Maybe it was God's will that 9-11 occur and that we repent of our sins as a nation or something. How do we know that it was evil? Maybe it was God. But that makes me very nervous. I don't want to say that was God. And I don't want to say that the slaughtering of Native Americans was God. And I don't want to say the Crusades was God. I don't want to say the Inquisition was God. Um, so when people say it, when groups say it, I'm made nervous immediately because I want to know how they know. And in the absence of knowing this is God's will, this is God's command, we shouldn't do it. In the absence of being certain this is what God wants, I think we cannot go to war. The consequences are too high. The, the, the lives at, at stake are too great. Too many, right? So I want to know how we know this. Um, and the, we can say, well, we listen to the leaders, and this is the second part of the question, right? Well, the authorities have been instituted by God. Romans 13, right? All earthly authorities have been instituted by God. But I have to ask, what does this mean, right? What do we mean by this? Um, does it mean that God instituted Genghis Khan? God instituted Stalin? God instituted Pol Pot? God instituted Hitler? These people were really given power by God? And if we say yes to this, does that mean every German Christian is obligated to follow Hitler, obey Hitler, serve Hitler, because he is God's authority? Do I have to obey? Right? It tells me to obey my rulers, obey because, uh, or submit to them because God's instituted them, right? Well, I don't feel comfortable that World War II was just from the German perspective, that Germans had every right to invade Poland. 
try to, to try to establish world power. But if we believe God instituted Hitler, then as a German would I be obligated to follow him? I want to say no. Absolutely not. That's not just. God doesn't want you to kill Jews. God doesn't want you to sort of begin your conquest for world power. That, that's not what God is. I'm going to work against you. I'm going to help Jews escape. I'm going to, I want to see you defeated. So that's a contradiction, though. I'm now working against God's authority. I'm working against the leader that God instituted. So am I working against God by doing that? These are really, really hard questions, right? I think in the end it's pretty clear. Paul wrote Romans. Paul spends most of his ministry in prison. Paul is not a good Roman citizen. Paul does not follow Roman law. He gets arrested and put in prison with lots because he says, I obey God, not man. Now, Paul submits to the authority. He doesn't create a revolution. He doesn't try to violently overthrow Rome. He submits and goes to prison. Jesus is not a great Jew. He breaks a lot of their laws, like the Sabbath laws. He's not a great Roman citizen. He's arrested. He's killed. He submits to the authorities, right? But he doesn't call the authorities good. He doesn't say that they're doing God's will. And Paul certainly doesn't say Rome's doing that. So it seems that submitting to the authorities might not mean doing what they say, calling them good, following their decrees. But again, this brings this back up. If I don't know with certainty if God's commanding the war or not, because I don't know how I would know that, and I can't just trust the authorities on face value because I know that many of them are selfish, not following God, evil, then how can war be justified with proper authority? How do we go into this with any kind of certainty? And so this is a difficult question. So I just wanted to give a few comments. Now, I imagine these raise questions for you. Maybe you want to push back on me. Uh, I'd love to keep the dialogue going. I think these are really tough issues and really difficult to deal with, and reasonable people, good people, can disagree here. So um, anyway, I don't know if you have thoughts on this, but. Uh, uh, I've been enjoying the discussion.